All right, well, that was a fucking shit show. You need no, I need no introduction here. Yeah, um, Upper Bull Podcast, what, on um, Twitter, Spotify, Instagram, Salsa Trevor, the main host, executive producer. Yeah, he'll that be. Was a, that was a shit show game. Yeah, yeah. Um, He'll be on my channel probably Tuesday or Wednesday of this week. Maybe Wednesday because I'll be at Atlantic City early and I'll be able to stream, so that'll be cool. Um, But yeah, let's talk about this game I just witnessed. Yeah, not good. You know, on every single level. You know, I'm not going to talk about Carson Wentz at all because you guys know my opinion on him. It's not going to change. It never will. We paid him a buttload of money very early, and we're stuck with it now. So it is what it is. Um, wide receivers, you know, Greg Ward play, came to play and was nowhere to be found in the second half. Um, I, Jay, need, I need a milk carton right now of his face on it of Greg Ward. Yeah. You balled out, bud, but I need you for four quarters, not two. Yeah, exactly. Um, Zach Ertz got that garbage time touchdown, which helped my fantasy team. I went to six and six today. That was pretty much, that was good. And, you know, I was, I was letting out for hope because, you know, I'm the type of fan that doesn't like to give up when the game, you know, is within striking distance, even though it was 20 seconds left and, uh, didn't really mean anything. We went for two. I didn't really get that. Yeah, stupid. Eh, kind of stupid, but it is what it is. Um, I'm going to talk about Doug. I don't like this guy anymore. Uh, to be completely honest with you, after we won the Super Bowl, it's become clear to me that Frank Reich was the reason why we won the Super Bowl. This guy is dumb. He's incompetent. He's not a good head coach at all. The fact that he thinks that it's okay to bring in, uh, bring back Mike Groh last year after he won said he couldn't, he didn't know how to use Golden Tate in this offense. And Golden Tate is balling out there in New York while we have absolutely jack shit over here. Uh, two, brings in a running back, Jay Ajayi, who is the best player, well, the best back on the team by far, in my opinion. By far, not even close, like, by far the best back on the team. Is killing it on the offense, and he brings him out and puts Miles Sanders back in, who literally didn't do much today at all. I think he had, like, what, like 50 yards maybe? Something like yeah, that. Yeah, Jay Ajayi looked, like, by far the better <laughs> by uh, – I don't know how many times I could say by far. Like, he looked by far the better back. He outperformed he, everyone else in the winning running back group. How about that? Yeah, by uh, – yeah, by far. Um, Doug is just uh, – he's going to be on the hot seat next year. Yeah, big time. And you know what? If you're going to bring in uh, an offensive coordinator next year, I'll give you one name. Maybe. Jay Gruden. I'll give you another one. Ken Wisenhunt. QB whisperer. Ken Wisenhunt? Like, yeah. All right. Ken. All right. Ken Wisenhunt, the Arizona Cardinals, ex-head coach. Former Arizona Co- Cardinals Co- Co- QB co- uh, coach, Chargers QB um, offensive coordinator, head coach for the Titans. Yep. QB whisper. He, he coached on um, Ben Roethlisberger. Right. And uh, yeah, that wouldn't be a good. That wouldn't be a bad one either. Or I got a third one for you, Jason Garrett, who's going to get fired by the Dallas Cowboys this year. I think you're going to move on from Jason Garrett. This isn't a rant video because there's nothing to rant about. This team isn't good. Like all those people in the offseason saying. Oh, Carson Wentz is going to win the MVP award. This team is going to win another Super Bowl. Even with all the, the the roster additions we made, I didn't see it happening. I really didn't. I had a sad, like, 11-5 and five team bounced to maybe the second round of the playoffs. Because, to be honest with you, everyone knows me. I'm not a believer in Carson Wentz. Uh, the last time I believed in him was 2017, before he got hurt on that really dumb play. And after that, you know, he just looked like a shell of himself. He looks scared out there. He doesn't look confident. Um, he's just lost it as a QB. I honestly feel, I know the coach isn't going to do this because he's dumb Doug for a reason, but I would put Josh McCown in for one game and I would sit Carson Wentz because he is the future. Let his mindset, let his mind rest and hopefully he gets back to what he was in 2017. Because let me tell you something. If the excuse is that the wide receivers aren't good enough for Carson Wentz, you're just hurting his brain trust even more. You know, you're putting him out there with a garbage group of wide receivers, and if he's not, if he's failing to live up to expectations, it's just gonna put him down a swirling tunnel even more. It is, and it's gonna hurt his mindset because the fans are getting on him consistently. They're booing him now. All right, fans were not booing Carson Wentz, and Carson Wentz is a good old boy from North Dakota. You know, mm-hmm. now he's in Philadelphia where we're a bunch of savages. So. It's just, it's just one of those things that I just don't get from this fan base. You know, I know Brunson is going to watch. Well, he's probably not going to watch this because he's like big, 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 big. He's up there, Lord Brunson. You ever hear Lord Brunson? I've heard of him, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Lord Brunson, uh, he said we're going to go on a run after this game regardless. No, we're not. Wrong. Yeah. No, we're not. Sorry, Brunson, we're not. Um, but with that being said, I'm getting out of here. Um, if this, if you wanted to rant, Sorry. Only rant over teams with potential confidence boosters. Nope, not getting it. Flyers, Flyers talk, right? Flyers. 
Let's get it back to the Flyers. I, ne- I never thought I would say that in, in yeah. Octo- and by November. Let's get it back to the Flyers. Yeah, let's get it back to the Flyers. Um, with that being said, I'm out of here. Trevor will be on Tuesday or Wednesday. We'll figure out a day. We'll talk Flyers hockey. And uh, catch you guys later. Mike Babcock on the market right now. Yeah. There you go. Maybe he'll come in as our assistant. All right. (laughs) See you guys later. Peace.